Hello there, welcome to Ton TV and the Green at Morton weekly update as sponsored by Meteors the Auctioneers. The news is out that the club have decided to get some players out on loan, some young players to get more experience. And my special guest today is one of those players. He's been through the ranks at Morton, he's played for Port Juniors, he's played for Aberdeen. But the next stage in this young man's development is to go to Broomhill Sports Club in Glasgow, who play in the Lowland League. So it's a great pleasure to welcome Sander Eastdale. How are you doing? Right, not bad, good, thank you. Looking forward to getting out on loan? Yeah, it'll be a good experience, you know, it's a very good team, Lowland League, it'll be a good expectations and standard. Um, obviously boys fighting for three points every Saturday, so I'm delighted for that, it'll be a good uh, experience for me, yeah. It's a tough league, isn't it? I mean, you've got like some County Hearts, Bonnie Red Rose, Gala Ferry, yeah. there's some big names in there. Yeah, be very big teams and good players that are up there as well, I know a few boys are up there, so it'll be a good uh, standard and I'm just delighted to go up there and try it and give them all. Now we've been watching you in training obviously yep. the last few weeks and yeah. it's just great to see you back catching yeah. the ball. Does this make you appreciate the fact that you play football now that you yeah. didn't during lockdown? Yeah it was obviously tough times and circumstances you miss it a lot. You miss seeing the boys every day you know they're chatting obviously the training is very good so you miss that as well. You've got to tick yourself over but no, I'm delighted to be back you know the training has been very good um, and staying fit and sharp and no, I'm just delighted, yeah. Where do you see yourself playing on the park? What's your favourite? Yeah, uh, I can play anywhere I learn to free. Up front, I'm up front mostly, up striker or in behind. Uh, yeah, just anywhere around there I can play. Do you like to hold the ball up? Or yeah, like that's mostly my most dominant feature is holding the ball up or like the play up for the midfielders and spinning, going in the box and scoring a few goals. Yeah, that is my most uh, unique bit. I wonder, have you spoken to Strappy? Who's Strap about? Well, I always speak to Strappy every day, you know, he's one of the good guys in the, in the change room, he's the one you look up to for the loans because obviously the first thing you think about going on loan is look at Strappy, you know, he's went from, you know, going to Elgin and Annan and look up now, he's young player of the season last season, so that was a big feature for me going on loan, also looking up to him, be a good, uh, be a good key to going on loan, yeah. Of course there is, you know, a, a recall requirement in, yeah. in January, if you want to yeah. come back, but I imagine by that time you'll have forced your way right into the cell. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But uh, the gaffer said to me, uh, just just keep your head down, score a few goals, and if you get recall in uh, January, and um, won't forget a chance in the first team. But just keep your head down, work hard, and see what happens. You have enjoyed working under the gaffer yeah. and Anton and, and Tim. Yeah, would you be fair to say they've developed your game quite a yeah, bit? Yeah, quite a lot. And um, last season, uh, I started training with the first team, so almost most of a year now I've been training with the first team, and it also made me a better player. Uh, the training's been fantastic, you know, the gaff has been brilliant, Anton, Ian Timmel, they helped me a lot with my striker movement and my ways to play in that and also my fitness as well and getting bulkier as well, they've helped me a lot and just need to thank them a lot for that and yeah, it's been brilliant, even the boys as well, uh, like Jim, Mitch and Brian, all experienced players helping me throughout training and, and also games as well. A wee bit different this season with Midge, isn't it? He's taking the yeah. warm up and the warm down. How you, how you find it? No, out? Midge has been brilliant. You know, I've, I've known Chris since I was a Morton fan. You know, watching him at Capital playing and obviously it's at Johnson days. And it was just brilliant to see him there every day and also him doing the coaching and that as well. It's just brilliant for the boys as well. They're all enjoying it. People maybe forget that about you, Sander, that you know, yeah. you're not just a player. Yeah. You're a fan of this club. Yeah, exactly. I've been a fan for always since I was born. You know, I was in the cow shed and that watching the games. Yeah, I've said this before, like my first game was the Kilmarnock game in the Scottish Cup when they won. It was a brilliant atmosphere. I was like Jim McAllister played in that game as well. Now it's just been a, a lifetime opportunity to, to play for this club and I'm just enjoying every minute. Is that strange for you? You're looking you know, as a supporter, yeah. supporting Jim McAllister, shouting at him, uh, probably, hopefully encouragement no, yeah. at the time, and then suddenly he's your teammate. Yeah, no, it's been fantastic. You know, it's what a, a boy, a Morton fan, that dreams of. Just, you know, you're looking at your heroes, basically. And also, Andy Ritchie comes to train sometimes, which is good. You, you see him, you know, he's a top, top goal scorer in Morton. You know, it's fantastic seeing him as well and seeing him every day. And also, Jim and Midge, they've played for the club. It just gives you a lot of motivation to go and play well for the club. What's the process of keeping tabs on you when you're out on loan? Do you get uh, reports? I'll, or? Yeah, I'll probably get reports from the, the manager and the... Uh, just go and probably watch some few of my games and then I'll, I'll keep tabs on them as well and see how I'm doing well and yeah just hopefully buy a few goals in and just keep my head down work hard for BSC and uh, get them to play well in the Lowland League and keep my personal uh, self uh, doing well as well. I'd imagine the first result you look for on a Saturday is Morton but would yeah. I suggest to you that the Morton supporters now the second result they'll look for Aye. is BSC. So yeah hopefully every, every Saturday I'll see the Morton score 
and see yeah, hopefully it's three points every Saturday, I hope the boys do well and obviously the three points for BSE is the most important for me personally so i just got to keep working hard and see what happens. Well Zander, we'll keep an eye on your progress as we will with all the boys yeah. that are going out on loan and we wish you the very best. Thank you Jared, thank you. And thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on the Green at Morton weekly update as sponsored by McTears, the auctioneers.